keratoconus and corneal cross-linking. This is a therapeutic procedure in the eye with progressive corneal thinning and softening, ectasia, in order to strengthen the cornea and achieve mechanical and biomechanical stability of the cornea by enhancing the creation of additional chemical bonds in the corneal stroma through strictly localized photopolymerization with maximum protection of the surrounding tissue. The name corneal ectasia includes a group of corneal disorders characterized by a weak structure of the cornea and by corneal thinning which lead to a protrusion called cone and to irregular astigmatism. Changes are progressive and they lead to the impairment of vision to a lower level of contact lens tolerance up to complete contact lens intolerance and the impossibility of wearing contact lenses. At the ultimate stage of corneal thinning, perforation, opening, threatens, and the transplantation of the cornea becomes inevitable. The most common congenital ectasias are keratoconus and pellucid marginal degeneration, while acquired ones are post lasic ectasias, post-inflammatory ectasias, bullous keratopathy, and other conditions of softened corneas. What is common to all corneal ectasias is reduced by mechanical strength due to reduced interfibrillary bonds that weaken in such conditions. A new concept in the treatment of these conditions, corneal cross-linking, is focused on this familiar pathogenetic mechanism with the aim to strengthen and reinforce the structure of the cornea in order to avoid the need for transplantation. The procedure consists of homogeneous illumination of the corneal tissue. QVA 370 nanometer soaked with solution of riboflavin during 30 minutes in order to induce chemical mechanisms of strengthening and forming new covalent bonds among collagen fibrillas. The procedure is painless and safe.